Father God, I just want to thank you. I want to bless you. I want to glorify you. I want to thank you for this day. I want to say, yes, Lord, use me in whatsoever way you want to use me. Use me for your glory. Whatsoever way you want to use me, use me, Lord. I stand ready to serve, to be of use to you, to be able to make an impact, to Lord, and serve my generation faithfully. So, Lord, that is why I'm online, because you say you have put things in my hands and I'm not giving it out. So, God, I am here to give it out, what you have given to me. Every day you put something in my spirit, man, and I've been resisting, but you have made a way for me to be able to come online, whether I like it or not. You have done it this way. And as you have done it this way, I open myself up to it and I say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They carry me, they go no more, they follow you. Carry me, they go, that I make a put this song. So that you will just take me to where you want me to. I surrender completely to that which you want me to do. And to say to your people, to empower them to be Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that, Lord, those who need to hear what they need to hear will hear what they need to hear. And be blessed to have that encouragement for today. To be empowered, O oh Lord, for today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my dear. And how can I bless you, everlasting Father, for this wonderful privilege and opportunity. Who am I? I am but just an, I am but just clay. Clay in your eyes. I don't have anything. I don't know anything. But you say you have invested too much inside of me for me to just sit like that and not share. I have given you all the excuses, but you are not listening. So, yes, Lord, I surrender and I am ready. And for the glory and honor of your holy name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, God, where you lead me, I will follow. Whatsoever it is, so Lord, that you want me to do, may you be glorified in it. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. I don't know how long this video is going to take, but I'm online. And I will share and speak as the Spirit of the Lord wants me to, in Jesus' mighty name. I He dropped this scripture in my spirit this morning, and he said, share it. So... Who am I? I'm going to read from Psalm 11 and then I'm just going to flow as the Holy Spirit wants me to flow. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Psalm 11 from verse 1. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string. That they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations... Be destroyed. What can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in his heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids dry the children of men. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The scripture that he dropped into my spirit, man, this morning. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I have seen so many people in life because their foundations were affected became so insecure they tried to please everybody and they ended up messing up their lives i have seen things go wrong in people's lives devastate them completely and it starts rocking the very foundation of their life, of what they are standing on at that, at that particular moment in time, destabilizing them and those around them completely. Sometimes experience is a big teacher. I always say I end up having what I call character shaping experiences. And character shaping experiences can either shape your character for good or for bad. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? 
But we are assured the very first verse of this psalm says, In the Lord put I my trust. So when our foundations are being rocked, because 2020 has rocked a lot of people's foundations. Some of us have been through hell and back and survived it. But some people cannot stand hell on earth. Some people just want to give up and die. Some people, because of the emotional burdens they carry, end up having illnesses, end up getting sick, end up being affected in their lives because they allowed their emotions to so overwhelm them that they gave up because and things begin to happen to them. Some will just instantly just do diabolical things. Maybe jump in front of a train or go drink some, so many pills and just finish off their lives because they cannot stand hell on earth. Because they have been through so much and their foundations have been rocked. There was one thing my husband he always used to say. He says, I, I, I believe in God, I believe in Christ, and he was steadfast with it. He says, but the relationship you have with Christ, I am jealous of it. I wish I could go that deep. And to the glory of God, I want to believe that as he lay there dying, he was able to appreciate and understand, and he went deep. And he made it right. And he could understand then God in his entirety, in eternity there, where he's gone. We go through some things in life. It shakes us. I have been shaken several times. There was a time when I was so frustrated. I also diabolically thought about i had some suicidal tendencies once but thank god for my little sister she was able to talk me out of it she came around three in the morning i called i didn't know who to call and i called and she came running the youngest of them all and she was able to sit there and talk with me until five in the morning sometimes we need somebody to talk to us sometimes we need encouragers we need people who can just speak or let us talk, allowing us to just talk so that we can get things out, so that we can move forward and move on with our lives, so that we can prosper and be what we have been sent here to planet that to be. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous can only continue to trust in God, as I said said in verse 1 here, in the Lord put I my trust. It is only faith and trust in God that keeps us going when things seem really difficult. Things seem really, really bad. It's like a pasia, no way, no way. You know, like we, we had a game we used to play when we were young. And it is that you don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. You don't know who to trust. You just feel down, 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 down. And you're waiting for somebody to just encourage you, somebody to just tell you something that will make a difference. Well, I'm here to encourage today. As I said, I don't know how long the Holy Spirit wants me to talk. I am completely in his hands on this one. The last verse I read is the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The children of men. We are all his creation here on planet Earth. He sent Jesus to come down to planet Earth to come and understand 
what it means to be human because he's God all by himself. So he doesn't understand really what the physical entrapments of what we're going through means. So that's why Jesus had to come down and understand what it means to be human, to be in this flesh, to be in this body. And being in this body is something that we really, really have to learn to just trust in God, that he knows what he is doing, that he knows what he is saying, that when challenges come, that we only need to just put our hands in his hands and let him lead and direct us and guide us in the way that we must go. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I want to encourage somebody today who may think that their foundation is being shaken, it's been stirred. Their foundation, they feel like they are on shaky ground, they are on quicksand, they're sinking, and they cannot lift themselves up. They're wondering, how long? How can I get out of this? Maybe you put yourself in this situation. Maybe the actions you did, or maybe it's somebody else, maybe your parents, maybe it's loved ones, maybe it's circumstances, life, put you in that situation. I just want to encourage that when your foundations seem to be rocking, seem to be shaking, when it seems like you, you don't know whether you're coming or going, you don't know what to do, what to say, what to think. Trust in the Lord. Put all your trust, just take all the problems, wrap it in a blanket, soak it in the blood of Jesus, hand it over unto the Lord, and let God be God. And I pray that Whoever needed this word today will receive this word whenever they listen to it and be blessed and be encouraged for God's glory and glory alone in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.